Ah, jail history, I presume. We finally meet. You know, my friend, you have caused me a lot of trouble these past few days with your terrible video ideas. It's time for jail history to come to an end. Ah, uh, sir, it is our lunch break. Ah, uh, yes. We have to go now, but we will be back soon. Hey guys, I'm being held against my will here, in a GO prison, after the GO council found out about me making a video about the GO war. Animator Beams? Hey JL History. What are you doing here? I came here to save you from the goats. Why? Because if I save you, you have to give my channel a shout out. Uh, no I don't. Anyway, now I can tell you guys the story of Project Isabella, the GO war. The Galapagos Islands are beautiful, there's no denying that. Home to thousands of species, including the Galapagos tortoise. But the Galapagos tortoise almost went extinct a few decades ago. The reason? Goats. The Galapagos Islands were first discovered in 1535 by Thomas Berlanga, the Bishop of Panama. He was sailing to Peru when his ship was blown off course and he arrived at the Galapagos. The Galapagos Islands were later added to the world map for the first time in 1570. It's unknown when goats first came to the islands as it was probably a bunch of different times. Leaving goats on islands was a common practice by colonial sailors. When a ship arrived at an island, they would let loose a few goats, so if they were ever stranded on the island in the future, there would be a food source there. Goats can breed incredibly quickly and can eat almost anything, so they were the perfect animal for this task. Some sources say goats were first introduced to the islands by herders in the 1920s, and there is one case when two fishermen left just three goats on an island in 1959 and by 1970, there were over 40,000 goats on the island. You heard that right. In 11 years, three goats somehow turned into 40,000. The quick breeding schedule and ravenous appetites of these goats were great for sailors, fishermen, and herders. But for local animals, these goats were monsters. They ate everything on the island, and this caused the native animal population to die out. I imagine the first native animal and goat interaction to be like this. Uh, hello, welcome to our island. Good to have you here. By 1990, there were over 250,000 goats on the island. And as the number of the Galapagos tortoises on the island decreased from 100,000 to 15,000, the world decided to stop these goats from destroying the Galapagos. In 1995, the Tortoise Summit, named after the Galapagos tortoise, decided that we needed to eradicate the goats and a few pigs and donkeys that invaded the island. The United Nations then approved a $13.3 million operation to remove these species from the islands. But how do you kill 250,000 goats, you ask? The answer is violence! Several groups of soldiers from all over the world were tasked with killing these goats, but this would prove to be a bit of a challenge, as goats are some of the most intelligent animals on Earth. They decided that the best way to kill these goats was by shooting them from a helicopter. Dang it, now I have to draw a helicopter. They would have two helicopters surround a group of goats, herd them together, and then take them out. Here's a go battle montage. It was a good plan, except after a while the goats would recognize the sound of the helicopters and run away before they could do anything. But there's one creature on earth that's smarter than goats, humans. And we humans came up with something called the Judas goat. The Judas goat was a sort of spy that the humans used to kill goats. Humans would tag the Judas goat, and then they would set it free to go join a goat herd. After the goat would join a herd, the soldiers would use GPS devices on the Judas goat to kill all of the herd except for the Judas goat, and then the goat would go join another herd. This turned out to be a great strategy, as by 2006 all of the goats in the Galapagos Islands were killed. Who's there? He's in here! Get him! Ah! Well, I guess I'm in charge now. Make sure to check out my channel, Animator Beams.